every 10 years, Uganda holds a national census and the last one was carried out in 2014. The next national population housing census is planned for the 10th to the 19th of May 2024, with May 9th being the census night. At least 114,460 enumerators and 18,483 supervisors are expected to participate in Uganda's 2024 national census. According to Kabianga Baluku, the state minister for ICT and national guidance, census figures play a critical role in guiding planning, policy formulation and program implementation as well as monitoring involvement, progress in line with national goals and objectives. So for us to government to uh, conduct a um, uh, population census, it is for planning purposes so that uh, the population can be planned for. We need to know the uh, demographic structures that we have, uh, the youth more than the old people, or the old people's population has increased. All those are things which we need to understand. Last month, reports from the UNDP Human Development Index indicated that Uganda had attained a middle income status. The minister says that census is crucial in the computation of such figures given the major indicator is derived from per capita income. Um, the major indicator of that, the measure of that, is per capita income. Just the whole GDP of the country divided by the total population. But is it even redistributed? It might be probably um, wealth for only one man, which we are distributing to the whole population. Now with the, this population census to give us a clue how even the wealth is distributed. That's why there will be so many questions. They will even need to know uh, how many, uh, what wealth do you have. They will need to know whether you have a phone, whether you have a TV, whether you have a radio. So all that information is required for us, for us to really understand, uh, for us to really understand what type of population we have. Is this wealth even redistributed? Are we all in the middle income status? Or it is just a figure? Uh, it is just a, a figure. So, all the He does appeal to the public to be cooperative with the enumerators, noting that this activity will be the first ever paperless census to happen in Uganda. And, and, and that's why I appeal to all to the whole population mm -hmm. to cooperate with the enumerators. The census night, ninth, tenth, ah, then, uh, uh, but it will continue. I think it will take about seven days because you cannot uh, enumerate people in only one day or two. Uh, but um, and within three months, we shall have started getting the results of the <coughs> of that enumeration. But we, it is also now going to be more digital than manual. Uh, because now there will be no forms to fill. Everything will be digital. So the um, uh, uh, Uganda, <coughs> uh, 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 Uganda Bureau of Statistics has already imported the gadgets that are going to be used. So it will even be easier. According to Ubos, the country's current population is estimated at 45.5 million people with a growth rate of 30.4%. The census 2024 will be the sixth exercise to be conducted since Uganda gained independence in 1962. In particular, it will be the third to be conducted by WUBOS, which was established by an Act of Parliament in 1998. John William Ogenda, Freddy Christie Sao for BTM News Today.